President Trump is meeting with Kim Jong-un just a few months after the North Korean leader met with Chinese President Xi Jinping for the second time. Given the history between the two East Asian countries, the outcome of Tuesday's summit could also affect the relationship. China is North Korea's most important trading partner. The two countries exchange more than 80 percent of both imports and exports, according to MIT's Observatory of Economic Complexity. If Chinese sanctions continue, it could reportedly trigger an economic crisis by 2019. Joining us now from Washington is Axios reporter Erica Pandey. All right, Erica, Kim Jong-un took over North Korea in 2011 and has since kept China at arm's length. What's behind this tension? You, I mean, you nailed it on the head. North Korea has been like a belligerent little brother for China, and especially since Kim took over. You know, right up until Kim visited Xi in Beijing a few months ago, these two leaders really hated each other. Kim sees himself as a new leader of North Korea. He wants to wriggle out from under Chinese control, and he's brutally assassinated several of his own officials with close ties to Beijing. Well, Xi Jinping and Kim Jong-un have met twice before. What was discussed at these meetings? Right. Well, these are two of the most private governments in the world. So, you know, there's no telling exactly what was discussed, but it's safe to say that China, you know, in the lead up to this summit with Trump, told North Korea, if you want us on your side, you're going to have to start behaving better. And experts say that Kim's trip to Beijing was really what convinced them that he is indeed more of a rational leader than we thought, and he's very serious about you know, real outcomes from this summit with Trump, because so, China is an undeniable partner in that. Yeah, so is that the role, essentially, that China played in getting North Korea to talk to the U.S.? Yeah, China plays a vital role on both sides of this equation. On the U.S. side, Chinese sanctions, as you said it, are a huge economic burden on North Korea and played a big part in bringing North Korea to the negotiating table. On the North Korea side, Kim sees China as sort of a diplomatic guarantor if there is sort of a deal. You know, the party that can hold the U.S. to its word that it will protect North Korea's regime security in case of denuclearization. Well, what would... Um you know, what is China hoping to gain out of the U.S.-North Korea talks, and what would they like to see happen next? China has two main, uh, you know, ideal outcomes. The first is that there is no unification of the Korean Peninsula. You know, a unified Korea means U.S. troops that much closer to Chinese shores. It also means that China loses North Korea as a bargaining chip with the U.S. amid this trade fight. The other is no chaos and no war in Asia. China is on this ascent to the world stage, try, is trying to make itself a world superpower. And chaos in Asia and war in Asia is just going to hinder that progress. Well, what does China stand to lose, then, if the talks don't go as they hope? What China is really concerned about here is being out of the loop, being on the outside looking in, a situation that they're not used to. Um, they're worried that, you know, there's these two unpredictable leaders coming together. They're worried that there's a deal that they strike, that deal then falls apart, and then that leads to war in Asia. Well, North Korea's economy relies heavily on trade with China. How does that affect the relationship between the two countries? That, I mean, that's the belligerent little brother thing that I mentioned. It's, you know, as, as much as they hate each other, as much as they don't get along, their economic ties are so close that they're almost like family, and they both rely on each other. And China is a, and that's why North Korea has to be deferent to China. You know, one expert told me that if China wanted, North Korea wouldn't have oil tomorrow. It's that, it's that vital. Hmm. Interesting dynamic. Erica Pandy, thank you so much, Erica. Thank you for having me.